Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, and give all honor and glory to Yahweh. By Shem, Hamashiach, Hashem. For let me do another quick exhortation video. And this is going into the Shabbat. That how, you know, we got to get up. And we got to go do the works. And once I understand, you're tired. Your feet hurt. Your back hurt. But, you know, you got to make our body a living sacrifice and righteousness. This book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. You see that? We are being commanded to go out to the highways and hedges to wake up our people. It's our job to get them 10 pounds and gain a profit out of them 10 pounds that we have received. Whether you have more knowledge than a brother, than the next brother, do what you can to get this word out. Let's jump to, let's go to the book of Luke. Chapter 19. Yeah, yeah, come. Luke chapter 19, I'll start at verse 13. And he called his ten servants, delivered them, and delivered them ten pounds and said to them, Occupy till I come. You said you want to stay occupied until your house shall come back. He gave you ten pounds. He gave one brother five pounds, you know. And well, what are you going to do with that profit? Are you it's like, are you going to make a profit out of that? Let's jump to first. Let's jump to verse number sixteen. Then came the verse saying, "Lord, thy pound has gained ten pounds." See that the brother had ten pounds. He gained ten pounds. How now? How did he do that? Is he didn't do it by staying staying at home all day, or playing and being a uh, keyboard of light? He got up off his eight and go went to go do the works. Verse. 17 this this is what your house shall say unto him and he said unto him well thou good servant because because thou has been faithful in a very little have thou authority over ten cities you see that the brother might not then he probably didn't have as much knowledge as paul or any other brothers that you know that was deep into it but just the whole point he made a profit out of them 10 pounds. Let's see what he said about the second one. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound has gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. You see that? Brother had five pounds. That's five pounds less than the other brother. And he still made a profit. That's why it's important to get up off your butt and go do the works. Now, let's see what he said about the last servant. And the other and the other came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I had kept laid up in a napkin. So the brother basically he just held his wisdom and knowledge to himself. You're not supposed to do that, brother. For I fear thee because thou art an austere man, thou takest up, thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, this is what your house shall send to the brother that kept all that wisdom and knowledge to himself. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thy knewest that I was an austere man, taken up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. You see that? Your house shall call that brother a whole wicked servant a whole wicked man because he had that one pound and he didn't make a profit out of it now it don't yes it matters how much you know but at the same time it don't as long as you know very little and you're still gaining through the spirit of the most high you're still gaining more wisdom and knowledge but all i'm saying is with the little knowledge that you have the curses you can still try to wake your people up with that that's all you need but in that, I give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, and Mashiach Hashem. Shalom.